Okay, so I still haven't had any success getting emulators to work on the Raspberry Pi um, because they're not optimized for it yet. They're optimized for the older ones. Uh, and I've managed to install various different ones, but I've, I've had no success in actually playing games on them. But what I thought I'd do is have a look at what Linux games work and specifically what Linux games I think are pretty decent. Um, and so let's have a look. Uh, well, I'll show you also how to install them. Now, if you're you might want to skip forward and I'll put the time uh, that the games appear uh, on the screen now uh, if you already know how to install games and various different methods and things like that but if you don't know how to do that click on terminal and it comes up like this now a, a little tip if you've typed anything in terminal before just press up and it will actually show you what you previously put in. So if you, like I do, make a typo and it comes up with an error, you can actually just put it in again. So in the case of this, well, I've already installed that game, uh, but I want to install a different game. Uh, so when you look at the list, it will have the name of the game and this is how you install it so you type in sudo apt uh, dash get space install and then put in the name of the game so in the case of this it's super tux press return and this is what it does so it goes off online and it finds the game tells you how big it is and then goes ahead and installs and I'll obviously fast forward this bit because what is it 176 megabytes of files so while it's doing that, I'll show you the other method of installing games. So what you want to do is click on the Raspberry at the top, click on Preferences and add Remove Software. Uh, and you can basically install or delete software from this particular bit. It's a bit like an app store, uh, like you get on your phone or a Windows computer or something like that. But uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. There you go. So this comes up and what you can do is you can either click on a different category or if you know specifically what you're looking for you can type it in at the top so say for instance I want to type in emulator and I've tried them all and I, I can't well I've pretty much tried them all I can't get them to work but this is only because the Raspberry Pi is so new now you'll see on the right hand side while I'm doing this uh, it sudo's just finished uh, so remember that tip if you press up it will show you oh, click on the sudo uh, the window press up and you can see that it comes up with that and if you wanted to install another game just delete that and put in the name of the other game from that list that I showed you earlier on and I'll put a link in the description for that list as well so that's a really easy way of installing games so let's just close that down because I don't need that anymore for the purpose of this uh, and if I go back to the Raspberry go to games you'll see that SuperTux and it's SuperTux 2 has now been installed as well as various other things. I've found that some things don't appear up here and again I guess it's because it's not optimized because the Raspberry Pi 4 is so new um, but over time obviously people work, people work really hard on this and you'll start to see more games and apps and emulators really well supported. So you can see I put an emulator uh, and as you flick through there's loads of stuff here. So say for instance Nintendo DS emulator you could click on that and then click on apply and it will install that. So I won't do that for the purpose of this, uh, but you can see the purpose of that. Uh, and if you right click it, you can visit the website, which is something I found out, uh, well I've only recently found that out. So I right, I've left clicked on that now, so it's opened up Chromium, and you can see that the website comes up, and then you can read a little bit about the game, about the project, about compatibility and stuff like that. So not quite as straightforward as like a, a Windows or an Apple store or an Android store or something like that but once you've done it a few times you tend to get used to it so the one game I wanted to uh, another game I wanted to install for the purpose of this video is KETM here we go so it's searching I picked that one because it's probably going to find only that particular game uh, although it looks like it's found loads of stuff. Right, so old school 2D scrolling shooter. So let's click on that, click apply. So now it's going to ask you for a password. Now if you haven't changed the password, your ID is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Now mine's been changed because I put a shorter one in just to make it easier. 
So once you put that password in, you can see that it's starting to install. And same thing as before, once it's installed, you're going to look for it under, well, games for games, obviously apps for apps and so on. Uh, I've definitely found that the Raspberry Pi 4 is getting a lot better. The web browser is great now. Uh, every now and then it gets an update and there is a way of uh, installing updates. Right, that's finished now. So let's go to games. You sometimes need to do a restart, but you can see it's there. So let's close that window down. That's fine. So the way to update your apps is to go to preferences, add remove software, hit options, and then check for updates. There you go. So in my case, everything's up to date, but obviously if it wasn't up to date, you can click on install updates. Right, so now uh, I'll show you the gameplay of the games that I found enjoyable, uh, the ones that work with the Raspberry Pi 4, and in this case are very easy to install using either method. So if you know the name of it, you can use the terminal, uh, or you can go to Add and Remove Programs. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Here are the games. Please like and subscribe.